Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Starfield. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button if you've been around. Thank you for watching. Uh, we are on the base on Crete, an old abandoned research facility that the Crimson Fleet is using as a base of operations. And we're here to wipe out their captain so that we can safely travel on to meet the constellation. Um, but... Uh, in walking around, we came across this computer. We heard some pirates listening to some video. It sounds like maybe some specimens got loose. And we're looking at one of their computers in the Starware operating system. Let's read these entries, these files. New beginnings. Hayden Wynn, Personal Journal, January 13, 2306. I can't believe it. I got the posting. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at mast. But it's long overdue, and I get to be a part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician, and I ship out in three days. Amanda's upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave, and I'll be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm still not sure what I'm, where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in United Colony Space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. Candidate 1. February 6th. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today, what appeared to be an alien form of Luqueg Venusta, essentially a giant spider. Mickelson, in full protective gear, attempted to attach the neural control interface. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon, and we had no choice but to put down the creature. A minor setback, none of us expect success on the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that a detachment of United Colonial Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. The Ashta Specimen. I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast and natural predator. Those are both exceptional and wonderful qualities, and essential to the work we're doing here. It's that the Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Free Star Collective. Leave it to a group of ground powders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Now it does beg the question. Have Free Star Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Trial failure. Any fears that our Free Star Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashton have been completely dispelled. After the Mickelson debacle, we determined the NCI should only be attached in our full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashton proved incredibly resilient to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. Not by us, and certainly not by the Free Star Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kasarov. Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off this time next week. More disappointment. Another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders. We want a predator. We wanted a predator, and they delivered. These things are so alien. Pulse had a difficult time deciding on designation. Opted for Repton's Venom? A shame we couldn't properly seek the NCI. These things would have been spectacular enough, especially the poison. New specimens, July. Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning, totally on schedule. Best way to describe them, they're arthropods. They ain't equivalent of Humorous Gormurus, basically giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the UC Grunts found these particular test subjects. Some godforsaken backwater rock, I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier species could be controlled with any reliability. As noted in my earlier logs, their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. But these new creatures possess a perfect natural disposition. Not aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened. And, then, and when they go on the attack, they're terrifying. So we'll see. Relocation. We're moving! <laughs> Packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their homeworld. We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior Xenobiologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm still not used to her not being there. I'll give Michelson credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the mass brass know that it was my work tuning the neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. Huh. Nice. So they have been doing all kinds of stuff. 
Perfect. Well, that was our first kind of big drop of info. As we grab some spiced worms. An Eggmon disc. Again, 195 for 1.65 weight. That's what we gotta figure out. We still don't know what we should or shouldn't be picking up. Wow, oh, Solar Fronters board game. I have a feeling we're picking up too much stuff. That we're doing the classic hoarding garbage that you can inside of these type of games. Uh, but this, field rations packaged in bulk, we'll grab again. Ooh, I think we need a wire spool though. Is that a pack of cards? Deck of cards. That is a deck of cards. So what was that tiny little thing? Playing card, king... Oh, no. You can pick up individual cards. Oh, goodness. All right, I already have a star-locked board game. Oh! Oh, you stupid robot. You scared me to death. All right, let's keep looking. As we loot the entire universe... In fact, that might become our tagline for uh, this Let's Play... Is, uh, let's loot <laughs> Starfield. Oh, those are cool. This is Sphere Toy. Okay. You know, you could take a chair. Ooh, a safe. <gasps> Fill in op all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. So, oh, okay, I see. So, I put it at this level so that it lines up with those gaps. And then I line this up. Oh, and that's what they're going to look like on the other side. So, you have to do, like, the little puzzle. So, here, oh, it's got it. Okay, I see. So, it rotates. Ah. Okay, I lost a digipick somehow. I messed up. So, I need to close these two. Oh, I get it. Okay. So, you're picking which of these sequences... So if I do that there, I don't understand what I'm doing here. Okay, it looks like I have to put this here. Oh, okay. So that's going to go there, and that goes there. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, now I'm getting it. So these two here, and then these off-angled ones like this. Got it. So I got us 421 credits. And a Tau Grade Rheostat. Oncoming Manufactured Component. This item can be used in a component, as a component in crafting. Cool. We picked our first lock. Look at that. And there's a digipick. Awesome. There's a dartboard. That's awesome. Again, I think this is going to be one of those... Ooh, a blue lab outfit. We're going to take that. Plus 5% chance of research sudden development. We'll take that. Play a little bit of the old... Uh... What's that? What's that? Red Harvest brand NAM brand manufactures the company's proprietary genetic modification technology. Thank you. Was that another outfit down there? No. But there is a bed. Ah, yes. A shielded lab outfit. I thought I saw another outfit down there. Man. Okay. Out of the way, robot. Stress reduction procedure, bang head here. That's, well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, a bowl? I mean, lots of items that you could decorate your house with. 
I'm sure we'll get a house at some point. I mean, it's a Bethesda game. Is there anybody in here? Okay, this is not where we heard them talking. Turn this flashlight buck on. Uh, what do we got? We got some books. That looks expensive. No, that's just the base for a blender. Uh, Chumco chocks. Files, a folder. Alien bug paperweight. That's pretty hip. Oh, once we've played this game for a while, we'll know what to not to care about when we see it sitting on a table. Like, I already figured out. Starlocked, the board game. While cool looking, uh, is not worth our time to pick up. But again, we will pick up food items when we see them. Our, cl our clumpy robot behind us will keep walking around. Uh, that's a food bag, right? Bandages. Wrapping for cuts and wounds used for treating afflictions. Treats confusions, contusions, lacerations, and puncture wounds. Okay. Then we got a box. With some laser cartridges. Uh, a weapon rack. What is this? A grindle. Another pistol. Some ammo. Ah. Okay. Right. You see a battle meal, more rations. Grab those. Look, that's like some cube right there, right? Guess I can't get at it. Chunks. Choose your chunks. Now with sauce. I'm liking this world they built. All right. Uh, a block the room we can't get into. Let's take a look at our items real quick here. 43 new ones. Solar Frontiers, the ultimate race to claim your home in space. That's pretty cool. Um, we're at 123 and 135. So I'm thinking like like a pound. Wow, this is cool. Star locked. Playing times, one to two hours. What's the back look like? You know, I wonder if these are real games in real life that maybe you can uh, you can purchase. That would be kind of cool. Um, but I'm looking at these and I'm seeing, like, this is a pound. Like, we're running out of space. And that's a problem. How do I drop? X? Yeah, let's drop those. Keep the laser cartridges. Uh, I want to keep the books. A blue lab. I mean, we'll keep the lab outfit. Again, yeah, we'll keep the food. I love the Chunks of Play Handbook. We don't need a deck of cards. This is a food item. Drink pack beer. <laughs> I love that it's a little, like, juice box. That's great. Water and distilled water. Okay. Um, you know, like, this sculpture. This gun. What does this do? It has a bigger magazine. It uses the 7.7, .7, so it uses the pistol ammo fires super super fast so we have an alternate gun that uses the other ammo in case we need it um and then i'm just going to look through here anything that is not no drop it nutrient we got that off of a thing man we're going to need to work on our what is this how this way 6.3 Airborne 10. Wait, can you fly in this? Can we jump with this jump pack? Okay, we'll check that in a second. Um, again, the lab outfit. Certain things now I'm just learning we should pick up. And then we've got this. Oh, this is a laser pistol. It uses 1.5 kilovolt laser ammo. Okay, so we got a laser pistol too. That's cool. Um, this was to keep. This is to keep. Again, I want this stuff to... This says it's a component. This is not a component. So we'll drop that wire spool. Alright. So now we'll have a bunch of stuff in our pack. 
Okay, so this pack here, if we swatch this... Oh, Airborne 6. Maybe we just can't... It looks like you should be able to jump with that one. Maybe this one not. No, let's keep what we have. Let's not change that up. Whoop! Dropped a bunch of stuff. Turn our light on. Let's look what's in here. Frag grenade, fragmentation mines. Oh, definitely gonna take those. Again, we're gonna grab the food. We got some pie, some caseless ammunition, med packs. But we ain't gonna start. We're gonna stop picking up a lot of stuff that we don't need. That's just an air conditioning unit up there. Hi, pirates! Hey, pirate scum! Alright, we got more to the left through this wall. Okay. Are they coming at us? Alright, looks like we're maybe... That's right, it was nothing. You didn't see nothing, fool. Oh. Why is it flashing? What's flashing at us? It must be something. All right, anything in here? Uh, a hazmat suit. Grab it. Bunch of garbage. We're going to announce everything we pick up, too. It's great. All right, what did they have on them? Some beer and an axe. Where'd the other one go? Oh, he's way over there. Ammo is good. So is this the... Oh! I heard fire! Enemy activity detected. Yep, yep, I, I heard him. I heard him. Enemy activity oh! Detected. There's an Abyssi escape! It's not good! Who are you shooting at? Oh, up there. Okay. Oh, they're up above us. Alright. Can't quite get to him. Come on, buddy. Let's go around this way. Alright, they're up top here somewhere. Ah, there he is. There he is. Taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. That's right, they're not paying you enough for this. They're not paying me enough at all for this. I'm level two. There's one more pirate somewhere over here, right? Okay, back in there. There's a couple more pirates. Should we stop to loot? I feel like we need to stop to loot. I feel like we need to take a quick look around and see if anything jumps out. No longer detecting enemy activity. Like this scientist who had stuff on his body. And whatever this thing is, is probably not good. Oh! Whoa! Okay, they're still up there. Hold on. I was mistaken. Get out of the way, robot. Out of the way, robot. Let's deal with the problem. Where are they at? Where are they? I'm out of ammo. Oh no. Okay. Um. I am out of ammo for my. So this is recharges. So always keep one of these. Um. I don't think I have any ammo for this thing, do I? No. Uh, let's get our pistol out or the Grendel. And we'll get the pistol. I think that we have plenty of ammo for this, right? Yeah. For right now, we do. We can always beat people to death if we need to. What do we got? What do we got? Got nothing. Come on, buddy. Robot, help! Oh! Taking a couple shots. Oh, 
Alright, another pirate down. I am at half health, so we're going to go ahead and use a med pack real quick. And there's one more pirate left over here. Where'd he go? Did he go up? Did he go down? Aha! Center of mass. Something blew up. That's not good. Something blew up around us. And it was upsetting. Um, how are we doing on ammo for this? I wish I could see... Fire, oh, rounds. Okay, on the right I can see how many rounds I have. Um, got it. So I have 69 laser rounds. Let's try this laser pistol. Let's try him out. And then we'll loot this place dry once we've actually killed everybody. He says he's back there somewhere. Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe we go back for some looting. Alright, alright, robot. Let's go loot what we can before we move on too far. We haven't even gotten, like, anywhere in the story yet. Where did we come through? We came through here. Oh, O2 is consumed. Melee attacks and jumping. Stop moving and my stamina meter goes up. Got it. Okay. So we're going to go back down here. We skipped a lot of stuff. I just kind of want to look around. Again, we're not going to go crazy. Oh. Wait. Can you scan a scientist? A pirate? No. Okay. I don't care about a single notebook. Alright, let's just look around. Weird alien in a tube. Ugh. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Just garbage. Again, we're not going to pick up everything, but we got to check. You got to check. More dead scientists. I'm worried about whatever those are. I mean, if I was a game designer, I would hide all kinds of stuff back here so that the obsessive-compulsive player would be rewarded. If it is a player who is easily distracted by this kind of stuff, it does kind of make me go, huh. Ah, root beer in a lockpick. That's what we need. What do you got? Yep, lockpicks. Yeah. Aha! Another computer. Got it. Project Pet Shop. Senior Xenobiologist. My staff and I just arrived this morning, and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colony spared no expense. It is all very exciting, inspirational, really, knowing you have the full support of the decision makers. I have to admit I was surprised to learn that the lab is closely guarded secret. Located in Free Star Collector Space, no less. But we go where the work takes us. So the United Colonies are fighting the Free Star Collective. Xenon Warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it, and the Free Star Collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the calendar says. This is 1942 all over again. We may as well be the Manhattan Project, racing to create a game changer before the other side. So to that effect, I'm overjoyed to officially announce Project Pet Shop Phase 1 as a go. My staff and I just arrived this morning, and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. I just read that. There we go. The arthropods are, in a word, incredible. Calm, easy to work with, and they even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has thus far been nearly instantaneous, and their control of fidelity has remained in the 95-97% to 97 range. They've passed all environmental survivability tests as well. Hot, cold, low, or no oxygen. I'm pretty sure these things can operate effectively in any environment. Most promising is how well they've already integrated with the Red Devils, who have joined us for a period of extended training. After all, they'll be leading the creatures into combat, so it's critical they establish a war bond. Success. The arthropods are, in a word, incredible. We already read that. Why am I having so much trouble reading? After months of testing a variety of extraterrestrial species, I am overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will serve as the backbone of the United Colonies Xenowarfare Division. The arthropods are everything we hope for, and more. Imagine a pack of alien beasts suited to any terrain capable of instantly obeying any command. I have designated these beasts obedient pests, but we just call them stalkers. 
I think it may be finally time to crack open that bottle of Chateau Avignon 2170. The Red Devils. The Red Devils' progress in the stock has been nothing less than amazing. Now I see why they're so highly regarded in the UC military circles. None of the rah-rah bullshit you see with the regular grunts. These are focused professionals. After another week of training here in the pet shop, I'm confident they'll be ready for a live test in the field. Muckleson agrees, suggests I contact Colonel Kasarov and find out where his Marines grabbed that spider from the early trials. He wants his comeuppance, but then it would make for a good trial. Oh nice, the guy who got cocooned by the spiders wants to take their new killer um, guys and go. So field paste. Oh, it's just open. Okay, got it. And we got a container with some of that and a gun. Running wall encumbered. Ah, so we are encumbered now, I take it. Yes, we've hit the encumbrance level. Man. Maybe we can drop one of these lab outfits, I guess. This helmet is garbage. We'll keep the hazmat suit. Um, this one is shielded. This one is not. I'll keep the shielded one and drop that one. Oh man, encumbrance is going to be a problem this whole game, isn't it? Isn't it? Maybe we don't grab every piece of food. Because there's food everywhere. Okay, so, here's what we've learned. I am picking up way too much stuff. I am hoarding too much. Let's drop some food items on the ground right now. Let's clear out. Here. Here. Let's just eat a bunch of this food. There we go. We're healed back up. Feeling good. I think I'm a little drunk because I drank some beer. Um, that's okay. We'll grab some metabolic agent. Credits, structural material. What's it here? Disassembler Kraken. It is a rare pistol. Does three physical damage. Uses pistol rounds. 20% damage against robots. Okay, cool. So we can damage robots better with that. Um, yeah, so let's not pick everything up, Grug. Unless we're on a mission to pick up food or that kind of thing. Once we kind of know what we're looking for for the research stuff. We can always come back here and pick stuff up. Ooh, a pharmaceutical lab. What is this? So, I can use sealant fiber, etc. Sedative chlorine. So I can make all kinds of stuff, including snake oil. Huh. Treats brain injury, concussion, heart stroke, hernia, hypothermia, lung damage, poisoning, radiation poisoning. Okay. But I see there's a bunch of items up in the upper right that I need stuff for. And I don't really... These food that I picked up is not really helping me get material for crafting. Aluminum. That's it. So that says crafting, that says crafting, crafting, antimicrobials, okay. So we'll pick up stuff that says it can be used in crafting. But we're going to have to find a place to store this stuff permanently. That's going to be a problem, I think. Uh, nothing here, there's crafting. Something was highlighting, I thought? Oh no, just the door. Uh, credits. This guy that we shot and robbed already. That's fine. Uh, med packs. Let's 
let's look at these lockers. Could be something useful. Another hazmat suit. I already have one. I hope the ship has some kind of storage on it. I truly do. We got a locked door. Let's pick a lock. Alright, what do we got here? I have these. I have ones that are pretty much right across. I have a three pin, which we could put here, but doesn't help us. Okay, yeah, so that one and this one. There we go. And then here. So I think it's that, and then I think it's this. There we go. Oh, stuff is all flashy in here. What is this? Like, just space stuff happening everywhere. Bunch of notebooks. Unpredictable. Variable synaptic response. Chemists have all the solutions. Oh, hi, robot. I mean, hi, uh, computer. Hyden Wayne's Project Terminal. War. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Free Star Collective have forced the UC's hand the unmitigated Gaul, thinking they could establish control over a four star system, such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narian. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently, they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate of 93%. It's a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xena Warfare. Note. No, it's not lost to me that this classified facility is actually located within Free Star Collective Space. So goes the great game. Phase 2. It's finally time. After an almost successful mission with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons we'd hoped for, so it's time to expand their operations. Mass has finally approved the next stage of Sully's operation. Project Pet Shop Phase 2 will commence. We officially stopped work on Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils, who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some from the planet and fit them with NCIs. From this point on, our focus is Phase 2. Heat Leeches. Without settled systems from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, pilots have had to deal with nuisance known commonly as the heat leech. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the new Atlanta spaceport. My transport was delayed while a decker removed a few of these filthy little things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off it with some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% to drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab. By all counts, they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties. What if there were a way to weaponize them, perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning, to completely and instantly disable the ship? Or even better, to somehow reverse the process so they transfer their own heat into a ship? To someday. Today I fear we lack the means to do either. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I like unlocking uh, frag grenades, fragmentation mines. Uh, we got a lock safe. I have four digi picks. Uh, let's see here. So I think these two and these two, right? Yeah. So those ones and these ones. And then over here, those. Yeah. These three and those two. Caseless credits. A better pistol, the Furious Eon. Each consecutive hit deals more damage. I'll take that. And Synapse Alpha. It has to be, Oh, it's a drug. It's an injector. Stick it in yourself and go. Man. These are some really cool... Really cool things going on here. So we got a new gun. What's happening? Is that my robot making noises? It's making the noises... Nothing in there. Okay. Well, that was worth it. Let's equip 
Um, that new gun. I like it. Now I wonder, can we favorite a weapon? Like, if I go here, and I wanted to... And maybe we can't. I don't know. Maybe I just have to be on the ready. Yeah, we're just kind of looking around. Lab one. Ugh. These scientists, they didn't know what they were doing. And they did it anyways. They should have known better. Synergy! I like the fake little, uh... <laughs> the fake little, like, office poster. That's pretty great. We got here some files. Just garbage. Yes, it's all garbage. That's just a cool leg from the stalker. I'm worried, though, that if a stalker is, like, all those pieces together, we could be in trouble. Lab 2. Oh! Lab 2 had a bad time in it, apparently. Apparently. Robot, you scare the heck out of me all the time. Research Lab 1. <laughs> the cool little uh, safety thing. Oh! The Leave Sea Mug. Light. Like if I go into scanning mode. Yeah. Biological hazard. That's no good. Don't get the biological hazards. But we are looking for... Like here's some toxin. Take that. I already looted you. Yep, nothing else in here. Yeah, we were kind of running through this area, so we didn't look real hard. All kinds of stuff. But nothing particularly useful. Out of the way, buddy. Out of the way. Out of the way. Well, up we go. Let's continue on. How are we doing on mass? 140, 143. I mean, pretty soon we're going to, um... We're going to run out of weight again when those drugs wear off. Is that a grenade? No. That's not a grenade just sitting there. Keep going. Brug, how'd you do? Well, I played the game for like three hours and I got hardly anywhere uh, because that's how I play games. And I'm sorry if it caused you distress. Just some caseless, that's fine. Oh, we have a skill point to spend too, don't we? Don't we? Terramorph specimen. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrologists made first contact nearly 100 years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was never, it was sheer cosmic chance. The astrogeologists found it. Or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it Oxisio Machina, a roughly killing machine. The UC Marines, tasked with taking it down, chose a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once of the eight-person squad. Only two of the grunts survived, and one of those lost one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time for Xena warfare. Today we fit the Terramorph for the NCI. For our experiment, when the grunts first dropped off the creatures, any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We'd better make them count. Well, that's probably not good. That's money right there, isn't it? That's a cred stick. 
Yes. And his emergency slate. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Aww. Uh, is that just a holder? Data slate display. Cool. What's that? Ah, a microscope. Ah! Ah! What's this basic item in front of me I should be able to easily identify? I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi-picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Oh! Oh, it's a heat leech. Get out of here. Ammo, spaghetti, a carrot, and some lime, and a safe. Oh, look. They gave us some digi-picks. A scientist with some digi-picks. I mean, we'll be opening them soon. That's no good. Uh, if I do those two, and then these two, and then here. Uh, no. Here. Oh no, I've... So I'm losing one every time I mess up. So I have to use this out here somewhere. There's three guys. They line up with none of those. These two line up internally there. So I think it's this... Wait a minute. Nope. Nope. What's this auto? Oh, if you do so many uh, successful attempts, you get an auto slot. Okay. Okay, hold on here. If I put these two here. None of those line up. This lines up back there in the bottom row. Nope. Oh, this mini game is difficult. So that's going to the back row. This goes in the back row. So it is these ones here. Oh, I see what you do. I'm figuring out how the game works. It's good times. All right, so it is these ones here. These ones here. These ones here, these ones here. There we go. I got five of five. Shotgun shells in the more synapse alpha. Optional, I'll lock the safe. Oh, there's a ladder, okay. All right, something I want to look at. How many digi picks do we have at this point? 
Um. How many digi picks do we have? And they go in resources, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. So I have two digi picks. So every time I back up, it costs me a digi pick, I think. I'm going to need to buy a whole bunch more of those. Because bad times. And I'm encumbered because my drugs wore out. Okay. Let's drop. What was heavy? This is... I don't need to be carrying this. I guess I don't I don't need to carry this. Um These are worth a lot of money. That's the only thing I'm looking at. This is worth a ton of money. 1800. Pirate assault spacesuit like 7 there. Oh, this weight thing is going to be the death of me here. I just assume ammo doesn't have weight, right? Yeah, okay. Um, these notes do not have weight. Ah, but books do. Let's not carry the books. And last but not least. Okay, so nothing in the resource section. Got it. The miscellaneous section is here. Man. I am carrying a million weapons. Like, I have five cutters. There we go. Yeah, like these are worth money. These are not worth money and these weigh a ton. Drop all but one. Drop all but one. There we go. Got it. There we go. Oh! Managing encumbrance. A classic problem in the Bethesda games. I don't mind the encumbrance, though. I mean, it's real... I mean, realistic in a video game, but I think it's fine. Med pack, synapse alpha, a science crate, sensor chipped. What is this? Deep space mine, a legendary helmet. Well, let's equip the legendary helmet. I mean, come on. It has better radiation protection. Same others. Minus melee damage. More radiation and censorship. More accuracy when fired on the move. Yeah. You ran out of O2. Further exertion will cause CO2 buildup. Why did I run out of O2? Oh, because I took my helmet off for a second and put a new one on. Okay. That'll happen. It's very dark in here. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Uh, I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ships. Lie, that's right, I killed. Enough talk. What's your problem with Barrett? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. That's no good. Um... You need to stop attacking our ship. Oh, no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets. 
and it's going to be ours. Uh -oh. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Oh, persuade. Let's try persuade. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice is a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Aha! Alright, so three turns. Uh, you have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? That's, uh, not a bad point. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Okay. Now, question. Can I look around first? Because I don't want to pass up on the loot. Let's take a look around before we leave. We successfully talked them out of a fight. We're the best. Look for the map icon of your ship and press A over it. I will, but how about you let us look around for some loot first, buddy? Just seeing if there's anything that jumps out. Don't go here with some people, it's dangerous. Gotcha. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just glad we talked that guy out of... We succeeded in our speech skill. The whole reason we came here. Ah, weapon case. Oh, is that a shotgun? That's a shotgun. Okay. Now I'm excited. We got a shotgun. Extra med pack. We need to figure out how to equip Guns to a a thing. Sort me. Ah, favorite. Okay. So I want my shotgun to be on my left. I want my pistol to be on my right. And I want my 6.5 millimeter gun to be up. There we go. So now, pistol. Shotgun, we have a shotgun. I have a space shotgun. I'm excited. Alright, let's see if these guys cause us any trouble when we walk down here. I hope they don't. Uh, we're just going to come down and look around real quick. Any boxes to loot? Some lockers that are closed? Uh, nothing in there. I think we'll wrap up this episode before we when we fast travel the ship. We'll wrap up there. Let's just see if there's anything worth picking up, shall we? Because a lot of the manufactured items are really small. Man, this would have been a crazy battle arena to fight in. Oh, Y button jumps. Note to self. I have discovered how the game works. Okay. Got it. What just what just popped? Oh, Vasco. Pirates, some guy named Brogan. Okay. So we'll have to get used to this scanner. Can I talk Don't to you again? Back. 
What happens if I... Let's do a save. Get out hey, of buddy. Here. They've cost us enough. Can't believe after all this, we get nothing. We see you again. You're dead. Okay, I'm going. All right, so we'll fast travel to the ship. So if we look, our ship is over there. If we bring up the scanner, we can return to ship by fast traveling. We'll do that on the beginning of the next episode and continue on our adventure uh, into uh, Starfield. Uh, so this has been fun. I hope you're enjoying it. We successfully succeeded. Oh, before we go, before we go, before we go, let's spend that skill point. This is the ship. Skills. All right, so we have a skill point. What can we do? We could go physical. Eh. We could go social. Eh, maybe. Uh, make more money. Craft specialty food and drinks and research just recipes in a research lab. Scavenge. Find extra credits when searching containers. Pickpocket targets. Combat. I mean, we might... And this just makes ones do more damage. Science! Let's get the survey. Adds an optional zoom to the handheld scanner. Scan distance is increased to 20 meters. Okay. Or security. I like the idea that we could do like a bunch of gun mods, I think, here, right? And then outpost engineering. And then over here, what do we have? Outpost management. So do we want to go social or tech? Um. Let's go. Oh, can you just spend more on here? Wait. Aha! Okay. So there are skills inside of skills. Oh my goodness. Oh, this tree just got way more complicated. Craft and complete research is reduced by 20. Research required to craft. If I click here. Okay. There's a lot here. Alright, outpost modules. Um, hack expert locks and three auto tests will be banked. Rings now turn blue when you pick can be slotted. Hack master level. Spend digipick to eliminate keys that aren't required to solve the puzzle. Five auto tests can be banked. I think we go up the... Let's see here. 20%, 30%, 50 Alright, so... Then we can intimidate. Diplomacy... Force people to stop fighting. Deception. Piracy demands. Oh my goodness. Negotiation. Bribery. Reduce bribery costs. Additional cargo links can be placed at outpost. Robots can be constructed. Instigation? Okay. Here's what I think. I think we, we focus on security for now. Um, but I don't really want to go up. Damage robots. Damage robots. I don't really care about damaging robots. Starship engineering. I think I feel like I care more about tech. Like, craft improved spacesuits, research superior spacesuits, gun mods, zoology, more stuff, um, geology. Okay. Man, this is just a tough call, everybody. This is a tough call. Man, we're gonna hem and haw on this forever. But we gotta choose. We gotta choose something. I mean, in case we come across a big lock. 
yeah, we'll just keep going. Rank two. Bam. I feel good about it. I feel good. We got a space shotgun. Next episode, we'll return to our ship now that we've talked the pirates out of something. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, oh, let me check one more thing while we're looking at that. Do we have a new challenge? Pick 15 locks for challenge progress. Current rank 2 of 4. Okay, cool. Well, folks, that's where we'll wrap up. I hope you're having fun. Uh, I know I am. Uh, if you're not having fun, at least put me on in the background and listen to my beautiful voice. So until next time, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.